How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Review is back with yet another review, but there's this guy is here. Hi, guy. Uh, tell people who you are. Hey, I'm Kyle at No Hype Beer Reviews, and uh, I'm excited to review a beer. Yeah. So the uh, the impetus for this is basically um, one of my uh, uh, shock and awe beer mailers uh, that sends me beer quite often is a guy named Steven. He is the nicest, one of the nicest dudes I've met from from doing all this. Uh, we've met a couple times uh, when I went to Hill Farmstead with Keith, 93 Lumber Keith, a uh, year, two years ago now. Um, on the way back, we met up real quick at New Park Brewing. And then uh, it was right before the pandemic. Um, he was uh, coming, passing through the area, uh, going to a retreat, which was only about 40 minutes away from me. Um, so on his way out of there, he stopped by my house. We sat around, drank a beer, and he dropped off some beers. So he's been sending me beers for a while now, a couple of years. And um, lo and behold, he's he's uh, Kyle has tickled his fancy. So uh, Stephen ended up sending you off a beer, man. Now uh, explain how that went down. Uh, epic. Yeah, that was, it was a lot of beer and uh, it was cool because it was a lot of different stuff, different breweries, which was rad. And then uh, a couple of the uh, treehouse stouts he sent me are like really old. So I'm really excited to like, and they are adjunct laden too. So it's like, all right, how's the coffee? How's the chocolate? You know, vanilla, holy, like all this stuff. So yeah, I'm pump pumped. Yeah. Did he, Um, I forget, because uh, I watched the unboxing. Did he send you mystery beers? No, he... I think he had mentioned it in an email, but no. Okay, because he sent me a couple of mystery beers, and I wasn't uh, I wasn't sure if he sent you any. I was like, that'd be cool seeing if he sent this, the same ones. But anyway, um, so Kyle did his unbox boxing pretty much the same day I received my box. Um, the funny part about that is I had two people write me going, "Oh, Stephen cheated on you." He <laughs> did. Kyle just posted it. I was like, "No, no, that's all cool, man." And um, and uh. And we ended up having a couple, uh, two beers exactly that kind of uh, of the same beer. So we figured, why not do a video review, a joint video review? One's going to go on my channel. That will be this one, and the other one will go on Kyle's. So there you go. Let's drink some effing beer. How about that? <laughs> um, we're going to be doing Skull Medallion. Oh, Kyle's like I was going to open it. Uh, you can open it and pour, it, dude, if you want. While I kind of explain it and show it to people, Skull Medallion, a long lived brewing. It's eight point five percent alcohol by volume. It is about three weeks old. Uh, one for um, today is the what twentieth, I believe. Um, so you know, just about a couple weeks old, couple two three weeks old. Double IPA. Now, what's your what's your um, what's your experience with Long Live? I, unless I'm forgetting, haven't had anything from them. So I'm super excited. A couple of people reached out and they said, no, like you got really good beer from them. So I'm pumped. Yeah. And you said you've had stuff. Yeah. Most of the stuff that I have had uh, from long live has come from Steven. It's come from other beer mailers too. Um, but you know, they don't, they're not on a shelf by me. So it's not like something I'd be able to pick up. And for me, my personal experience with them has been a little bit hit or miss. So I'm kind of curious to see how this one, kind of lands for me but um you know you're talking about 8.5 percent hazy it's kind of spot on it's what it's supposed to look like I, I would imagine and kyle is frozen so we'll see what happens here if he comes back or not i just heard you yeah i can i can hear i can see you now hopefully that's not my internet and that's yours but staff who's like that happen all the time a quick edit or we'll leave it in because it wasn't that long who gives a shit anyway um so yeah i mean this looks all the part of a nice double ipa you know nice rich orange core kind of nice white head you know yours looks a little bit lighter than mine but it's probably just uh i think your camera's a lighter in general yeah yeah i'm not this pasty in real life <laughs> no he is everybody it's just the beer is a little bit more orange in real life <laughs> but yeah no, i mean it's sad uh, you're, you're describing like you're describing almost every beer like this you know it's yeah. orange it looks like juice uh, white head yeah looks beautiful but it's, not, but it's not it's not the the kind of you know we joke about butter and a squash kind of yeah. turkey gravy thing it's not that you know what I mean? It, it, it doesn't have that kind of density look to it. It looks yeah. more of like a really hazy kind of old school IPA before they went super heavy, super turbid, super oated and stuff like that. So, yeah. Let's get a nose, brother. That smells exactly like tangerines to me. Yeah. Like, they like tangerines. Oranges. 
the orange of orange, not citrus. Cause I'm not like getting a nose and not getting a ton of grapefruit or, or anything like that. It really is the orange family of things. And for me, it comes off very much like tangerines. When I cracked it open, orange was the first thing I got. I'm getting a little peach now that I'm like sticking my nose in it, but like, yeah, legit when you opened it up, it, it, you couldn't help but smell orange. Uh, but yeah, I get a little bit of peach it's making me think maybe like something like citrus. That's what I get a lot of. Yeah, I mean, I get down with the peach peach vibes on it, but it's really dominated by that kind of a really specifically go tangerine because it's like it's not an orange; it's a, like a, a smaller little kind of clementiney kind of yeah. vibe. That's the way yeah. it comes off for me. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, after that, there's really not much to it. I don't get any yeah. kind of like discerning bittering. There's like a generic kind of soft bittering to it, but there's no like green or weed or anything like that. It really just comes off as oh. A juicy juice oj ish kind of vibes no exactly yeah it doesn't have like an herbaceous note it, it's very juicy for the people who like juicy ipas this smells like it's that kind of a beer it smells awesome it, just very pleasant let's dive in brother cheers, cheers. I mean, that doesn't suck. No, it's really good. You know what I mean? It yeah. pretty much falls exactly in this nose yeah. to the taste for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's – and I like that you said, like, the tangerine, the cuties, that's what my my wife always wants me to get because they're easier to peel. So that's usually what we eat in our house, and it's, it definitely has that. But it does I think I get a little bit of regular orange zest, too. I do get some of that peach that I was getting the aroma. So I, I agree that it's very much like the aroma. It doesn't have that herbaceous note has a little bit of bitterness, you know, yeah, it's a beer, but that's definitely on the juicier side. Yeah, the bittering for me is just like a generic bittering that I think is coming from a little bit of hops and then a little bit of that carbonic acid thing. Like I complain a lot about carbonic acid, but this is where it's kind of supposed to, how it's supposed to be used. And what you're doing is you're taking a soft, gentle kind of bittering and then you're just slightly elevating it with carbonic acid. So it's not coming off like seltzerly water, seltzer water, which is like plain seltzer water. That's what that tastes like to me. And um, so it adds this kind of just this little extra little bit of bittering to it to where it doesn't just lean heavily into the juiciness, but there's no if, ands or buts. It's, it's, all the oranges are belong to us. It's not like messing around. Yeah, no, for sure. The the sweetness is nice on it. There's almost confectionery. Like it, it's just, it's really pleasant. It, it, like the aroma, it's juicy. It's fruity for sure. Um, but yeah, it's not like there's like 50 things going on either, but it drinks great. It's delicious. And yeah, the, I mean, the, to touch on that sweetness, like I can't, I can't express enough how much I like the sweetness level in this. Like a lot of these, you know, 8.5, you know, start to get up their double IPAs get so sweet on sweet on sweet on sweet. Mm -hmm. um, and they get to that kind of like, you know, processed sugar kind of sweet, not that kind of softer kind of confectionery thing you're talking about. And, and when Kyle says that, and when I say that, we're not talking like lactose. That's what most people think about yeah. it. But it's, soft, mm -hmm. it's a softer rounded edge sweetness that doesn't have that sharp, um, sweetness to it so there is residual sugar in here yeah. but it's not it's not like a crazy overly sweet beer yeah. but it's appropriately sweet for an 8.5 percent ipa double yeah. IPA. And, and that is what it is it's the residual sugar it's nice no I, I, yeah I, for, for yeah wow first time i've had something from these guys and this is an impressive first one yeah yeah mouthfeel is nothing to write home about it's not thin by any stretch of imagination yeah. but it doesn't have that soft creaminess that you that I kind of covet when it comes to these bigger kind of New England style double IPAs, but I'm not going to kind of poop on it. Um, I like it. I think it's fun, but it's very for me. And I don't want to say that this comes off kind of, I don't want this to be negative. It's very much Merriam Webster dictionary kind of hazy double IPA that in that I've not a lot of people can do a, a hazy IPA as well, but I've had several versions of this beer from several different breweries. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, – I did the, re the beer review yesterday. I haven't posted it yet, but I said that in that review – or said this in that review. <clears throat> you know, if you're going to do, like, paint by numbers, you know, hazy IPA, it's got to be really spot on. Um, this one, is, yeah, it's delicious. There's nothing different enough. You know, if you ask me in a month about this beer, I'll probably just remember it was good, you know, kind of a thing. Not like, oh, yeah, that had that cool note of this or something – 
unique. But yeah, I mean, I, I would buy this. I would definitely drink it again and all that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, fun stuff. Honestly, it's probably one of the better long-live hazies I've had because just off the top of my head, a lot of them have kind of skewed um, in that more kind of crystallized, kind of refined sugar kind of sweet or been just a little bit different. And this is probably one of the more, well, a little bit close to the vest, a little bit, I don't want to call it simple because good hazies aren't simple beers, but um, one of the, it, while it's, again, I was going to say basic, even worse, um, but it, it, for something that's not electric, um, it's really well done and really tasty and probably the, one of the better ones that I've had. Okay. Like you, you said, I mean, a good foray into, uh, into one of the beers and we're actually going to, after this, we're going to, we're going to do one on your channel and it's a little bit different than a hazy. We'll see how that one kind of hashes out. So for me, typically at this point, I, you know, go through my whole rigmarole of saying, you know, is it one of the better double IPAs I've had as of late? Uh, you know, it's worthy of being in a conversation. It's not going to be Mount Rushmore stats for me, um, but in the grand scheme of things, it's tasty stuff. And, and I dig it, man. Fun stuff. Like if you gave me this, if I ro rolled into a brewery, never been in a brewery before. And the first beer I had from them, and this is the first one, it wouldn't be. I'd always order like some tiny little itty bitty beer, but I walk in and I said, give me your double IPA. And they hand this to me and I drink it. And I'm like, okay, okay. We're off to a good start here. That's kind of where this one lies for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, the value and availability on long live, I don't know. I'm guessing this beer is covid times a double ipa 8.5 percent i'm four, probably 18 bucks that's kind of where these beers kind of land nowadays um in a per, you know 18 bucks i'm not gonna would i buy this 18 bucks again no because i don't buy double ipas all that much um but what what price point let's play that game at what price point would i go okay i'll buy this again It'll probably be like 14 bucks like i'd be like yeah oh, okay that's 14 bucks uh, yeah i'll buy that and um and uh, leave you with, if you like what we like this, if you like, I mean, on the nose, on the nose, double IPA, like if you were to Kyle, if you were to just say to somebody, if you like, what is there a specific beer you've had that reminds you of this? Or is it more of the same that we talked about and that it's, it's kind of hitting all the points. It's not, it's not veering off into some crazy direction, but it's checking all the boxes on what you'd expect from a double IPA. Yeah, and you'll you'll get this, I think, uh, and no, you know enough of their beers. It reminds me of like what Beer Tree does when they do double IPA. So it's like, I love what you were saying where you, know, you go to a brewery and they give you their double hazy IPA. There's a lot of bad ones that look like haze, like they're hazy, you know, but like they're not good. They're not memorable, like whatever. You go to a place, you said it so perfectly, you go to a place and this is the one they give you, you're happy. It's like, yeah, this is what that beer is supposed to be. And like I was saying before, it's just, there's nothing extra. There's nothing unique or different. That'd be my only real hang up with this. As someone who's more inclined to, um, you know, buy a double IPA four pack, I would spend $18 on this. That's probably the like upper end of what I'd want to spend though. Yeah, and that's and it's both of us coming from two different angles. Yeah. And that you would buy the, you know, in a perfect world, you're probably 16 to 18 on this. And me, I'm kind of a 14 to 16, only because I don't covet. Like, I want this beer at, I want this beer to be 4%, not 8.5. If you can give me this beer at 4% at this impact, then I probably have a better, uh, less of an issue paying 18 bucks, even though it shouldn't even be cheaper. But it's a fun beer and a really cool, uh, uh, you know, this is a, is this our first joint review doing? together did we ever do a beer review together before i don't remember i mean we've done like the you know at beer tuber palooza i don't know if it was ever just you and i yeah yeah i don't know if it's ever been just you and i i don't remember no, no we've done a bunch of beer tuber palooza a bunch of hangouts and the podcast together oh, I don't yeah think. yeah but I just don't think ever that, yeah it's kind of weird right yeah i don't think yeah i don't think we have yeah i didn't even think of that there you go. So a great little coming together, courtesy of Steven. Thank you very much for sending this off, Steven. It's a, it'll be a fun one from him to watch. And I'm sure what we'll probably try to do is post both of our reviews together at the same day. I assume that'll be a thing. And we'll see what's what. So, yeah. Anyway, if you like double IPAs, it does not suck. There you go. Uh, and that's all I had to say. It's a 15 minute thing. We just been like, crank. yeah, it's good. <laughs> uh, hit the off button. We're done. Um, so, me. Massive beers. You, you're watching my channel. You know how to find me, uh, Kyle. How does everybody find you? Uh, yeah, so it's no hype beer reviews on YouTube, Instagram, and Untapped. Same name at all three places. There you go. 
So go check him out. If you're subscribed to me, you're not subscribed to him. It's kind of akin to like a war crime, but not as much. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, definitely go check out Kyle. He's probably one of the nicest dudes in, in, uh, in the whole beer tubing universe. And also his reviews don't suck too. So that's kind of nice also. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, brother, for coming over and doing this. And um, yeah, like I said, if you're watching this, if at minimum, go over to Kyle's channel and watch the joint review we do on the next beer. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching us. Hopefully you enjoyed some good long live right now. And yeah, hopefully see you next time. Cheers, guys.